Now you've seen everything there is to see to do in the mobile app with Expensify. So the rest of this course is going to be focused on the things we can do on the browser side. And in this next lesson, we'll be taking a look at how to import your bank and credit card feeds. Now this serves two purposes. There's the employer side of it. As the employer, I might want to import my bank feed so that I can categorize things in Expensify before then importing it into my accounting software. For the user, let's say my employee who's out there, they might want to import their card or bank feeds so that they can go through those expenses and then submit them in a report for reimbursement. So it serves a few purposes depending on who it is that's using it. And in this lesson, we're going to show you exactly how all that works. Let's go see what this looks like. When you're using Expensify, you're going to want to have the ability to import transactions from your bank account, perhaps, as well as your credit card accounts, so that everything can run through Expensify and get matched up with the expenses people are submitting, for example, and that way you can make sure that you don't double up on any transactions. Now, if you're choosing to do this, it's important that you understand that you're going to want to disable any bank feeds you have, for example, where QuickBooks is directly accessing that same bank or credit card account, because that's where you can end up with uh, uh, duplicate entries. So if you're going to use Expensify to bring in your banking, then let everything go through Expensify. That's the basic rule. If you're going to use both, then make sure you do Expensify first so that then after Expensify has imported whatever you have into QuickBooks, then when you do the banking download directly into QuickBooks, the uh, QuickBooks will find the match and match them up. If you do it the other way around, you're likely to get uh, again, duplicates, or if you've already reconciled the account in QuickBooks, for those of you who have done that be, uh, before, then you know that you won't be able to match in the transactions that came in from Expensify. So very, very careful. Uh, be very careful, I should say, about uh, your workflow when you're going to start to do this. So of course, over here, we're in the desktop app or the browser-based application, and we're going to click here where it says Import Card or Bank. And it gives us a list of the popular banks. So I'm going to choose Wells Fargo, which is where I have an account. And it's going to ask me to sign into my bank account. So I'm going to pause the recording and do that. You're going to obviously see some stuff blurred out in this section. Now I sign in and it gets my account list. There are several accounts that I have that I use with uh, Wells Fargo. So now I have to choose which ones I want to uh, bring in to Expensify. So I'm going to uncheck everything except for this one business checking account that I have, which I happen to be using for schoolofbookkeeping.com. And I'll accept the terms and add it. Notice also that this checkbox is here that says the expenses on these cards are reimbursable. Since this is a company card, I'm not going to choose that option. But if I'm an employee setting up Expensify uh, to bring in my transactions, uh, then I would check that off because if I'm putting it on my own card, then that should be reimbursable to me. And you're able to distinguish when the transactions come in, which ones are sort of billable or reimbursable versus which ones should be ignored. And that way, ultimately, um, if we're bringing in transactions from an employee's card, that employee can control, can control it such that only the ones that we're supposed to reimburse them for actually come in. And we'll click done once it's finished. And that is uh, pretty much how you actually link up an account or import a card or bank account. Now if I go over here into the expenses, you'll see that it has imported a bunch of expenses. And you'll see the entry that came from the uh, time that I logged earlier for the consulting expense. So it's got everything here. And all I have to do now is go through and code everything and let it know what exactly goes where. And it's that simple. So you saw it took probably less than 30 seconds. All I had to do is give my login credentials and choose which account I wanted to import. And now it comes in here and now I can code all these expenses. And this way I can submit everything through an approval process to make sure. So this is handy, especially if I'm handing out debit cards, you know, company debit cards, let's say, or company credit cards to employees to go use to charge things that are obviously business related. Then this gives me the opportunity to say, hey, what's this? It's not business related. Um, you know, uh, there's any number of things that uh, will come up here, of course. But the point is, it's so easy and simple to link up your bank account to this. And you just saw how it's done in about 30 seconds. You can see how important it is to have the ability to import your credit card and bank transactions when you're dealing with an application like Expensify. It certainly streamlines the process of gathering the information around the expenses, determining what needs to be submitted, fed to the accounting software, and ultimately, for that matter, if necessary, reimbursed. 
Next, we're going to take a look at uploading and matching receipts.